Hi, if you own a Roku outside of America or UK, chances are most of your channels are geo-restricted, which means most of your content is rather limited. But with SmartDNS Proxy, you can unblock geo-restricted content and watch 10 times more content. To get American apps on your Roku, you need to register for an American Roku account. You don't need a credit card if you do it the right way, which we'll show you in a minute. But for those apps that work on your Roku, you will need a DNS service. Now, unlike Apple TV or PS4, Roku doesn't allow for custom DNS. So that means the only way to set up smart DNS proxy on your Roku is by setting it up on your router. Yes, that's the only way. So let's see how you can set up smart DNS proxy for your Roku now, shall we? To get started, head over to the smartdnsproxy.com and create a free trial account. Now, since Roku doesn't come with a custom DNS setting, you need to set up Smart DNS Proxy on your router with static IP address. We already have a video on this, so click on the YouTube card for the detailed guide. But here's a quick overview. Using the link below, find two DNS servers that are closest to your location. Next, log into your router and enter those two DNS servers in your router's web interface where you can see the option to enter DNS1 and DNS2. Now go back to your SmartDNS proxy account and reactivate your IP address. Make sure you have three green check marks in your account homepage. Now every device connected to your router will use SmartDNS proxy service, including your Roku. Next, you'll need to factory reset your Roku by going to the system, advanced system settings, and then factory reset. Enter the four digits you see on the screen to reset your device. After a minute or two, your Roku will restart and now you need to set it up again, just like you did before. But this time, we'll do it differently. That is, you need to create a new account on Roku.com from US. So select a language and connect to your Wi-Fi network. Let it detect the best screen resolution for it. Once that's done, it'll ask you to activate Roku by going to your web browser. Just write down the four digit alphanumeric code in a piece of paper or something. We'll need this for later. So to do this, you need to use your computer and go to the link and enter the code. But before this, you have to connect to the US VPN. If you're a Smart DNS Proxy paid customer, you already have a free VPN with a DNS service. Otherwise, you can find any other VPN of your choice and make sure you connect it to the US IP address. Now go to the Roku.com link on your browser and enter the alphanumeric code that you saw on your TV. Next, click on I need to create a new account. In the next screen, you'll enter general details like name, email, password, etc. Just like you did before when you first set up the device. In the next section, it'll ask you whether you want your PIN code before you're making a purchase. I suggest you set up a four digit PIN code that you can remember. This will bring you to the billing section. This is where things get tricky. In the past, you could bypass credit card section by using a custom link. We'll leave that in the description below. But anyways, we tried that link and yes, it did kind of work for us. You can find skip credit info in the bottom. However, if you go down to that route, you might want to be able to set up an address of US, meaning you can't circumvent Roku geo restrictions. We'll do a separate video on this. So look out for the link in the description below or the YouTube cards. But in a nutshell, if you just want to use Roku without a credit card, Sign up with a special link, but if you want to see geo-restricted content on Roku, enter your credit card or PayPal details. Since this video is about circumventing geo-restrictions, we'll enter the billing details. So just enter any address from US by using the data you get from fake address websites and make sure to use US address and PIN code and then click continue. Verify your PayPal or credit card details by authorizing it. Don't worry, you won't be charged or anything and you can always remove it later. Remember, we're doing all of this while we connect to the US-based VPN. That's how Roku will not know we're from outside the US. Finally, once done, Roku will ask you to add some channel to the list. This is exactly what we wanted. While the VPN is running, sign into your Amazon Prime account and do the same for Hulu or other channel that you might want to add. It's important that you have these streaming accounts registered in US, otherwise it probably won't work. Once you've added the channel you want, click on continue. Now head over to your television where you've set up your Roku device. You'll notice Roku will update your channels. From now on, when you connect to the regular internet, you'll get your local Netflix and not be able to get Roku channels like Hulu, 
that are not available outside of US. But when you connect your Roku to a router that's connected to a smart DNS proxy DNS server, you can see all the geo-restricted content like Amazon Prime or other US exclusive channels. If these steps didn't work for you, here are some troubleshooting things that you can try. One, restart the Roku device and the router we've set it up on and clear the cache. Two, the latest version of the Roku device has a hard-coded Google DNS server which would circumvent the settings we've done on your router. We've done a video on how to circumvent that, so check that out if you want to do that. And that wraps up video. If you're facing any issues setting it up, well contact our support team which is 24-7. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because there's tons of videos that we've done on Android TV, Apple TV, Roku and the likes. Therefore I'm Vandy from Smart Dance Box hey? and thanks for watching.